Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only rookies and nothing but rookies. It is month number, I think, four and we got magnetic weapons and a couple of uh, predator armor upgrades. And we're kind of chewing our way through deeper and deeper into the actual game. And today is an important milestone because we want to win Operation Diamond Mother. We need a scientist and we need the intel to further expand. So this is actually quite important to get right, which is why we got Roby and Divert here. Both of them have a nice little bond. And we got Axe and Shinrod here, another nice bond. We got the best of the best in terms of equipment that we could muster. Look at those nice little rifles. Roby here even got a 10% improved chance to hit and let me just um, optimize this a bit a little bit he has the highest chance to hit so might as well get the um, get the tail and rounds uh, we got three repeaters as you can see we're rocking the mass repeater uh, route one advanced two normal repeaters both of which are good I like them and they will hopefully help us to chew through bigger enemies but other than that those weapons are upgraded now and have even plus one damage on top of them so that's almost as good as it gets uh, we could later get plasma rifles and then uh, plus one damage on all plasma rifles on top of it that would be the deluxe version complete upgraded assault rifles but for now uh, we are okay on the damage department. It's just a matter of playing it right. Let's see if I can pull it off. Alright, we got a confirmed location. And we have landed. Did Mr. VIP already joining us? No, we're starting concealed. Uh, VIP is right here on the way. And uh, we can then move out. Well, that's not too bad. It's just a pretty large map overall, yet again. Roby moves up. Nothing. Okay. I think we still want to get that high ground here. Equally so. Let's move up with Axe. Yep, we're dealing with real enemies now. Well, this is going to be fun. I want that high ground as well. So let's just stop and move. First few rounds are ever so important. Moving up, Shinrod gets in position. I see it will be a bit dangerous, but I'm willing to take the risk. Yep, that was worth it. Don't want to charge too far, not yet. Let's do this. Yeah, Roby moves up here. And Axe, who somewhat reminds me with his name uh, of a character called Axel Foley. Beverly Hills Cop, for those of you who are a bit uh, older than 20 years. For those of you who have not seen it, oh, it is a fantastic uh, trilogy of uh, movie. That would be a great name for... for an XCOM agent, Axel Foley. Dum, 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 Anyways, I digress. <laughs> so, what are we going to do with you two beautiful, beautiful individuals? I think we're just going to shoot the ever-living crap out of you. How about that? Moving up to get a bit more 
closer to the target. And let's kill that stun monster. Wow, tail and rounds are hammering. 11 crit damage. That's what I wanted to see. Let's just get rid of uh, this here. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have now lost on every single mission, right? Nice. So good. Didn't need to use many of our cooldowns. And let's just overwatch for now. Uh, hate to see it, but we get some extra... We got some extra uh, view onto a pack that's standing there. Can summon troops and is still watchful, will not trigger overwatch. It's looking like your last. He got an extra armor, so that's a problem as well. Shredding in this run will generally be an issue. I can already foresee that. We've got the chosen right where we want them. It's time to strike. We just picked up a unique signature. One of the chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. Twenty-one percent. He's somehow in high cover. Okay, well we can change that. If he falls down, though, that's not necessarily going to be much better. You hate to see it, but I think we can't even reach him with the grenades. Moving into cover, I don't want to stand in the open. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I think it's still worth it uh, to do the following teamwork. It's not a great use of teamwork, but we are in a tough spot here. Unfortunately, he will fall into cover. On the other hand, fortunate for us, he will take falling damage. And the loss might also be a blessing in disguise because he can now take a shot at them and hopefully leave us alone. Okay, so, heading as close as possible, that might trigger his grenade though, not sure if I want that really. On the other hand, he's hard to hit, uh, so if he grenades, that's maybe even an advantage for us. Decent hit. Now is the time for teamwork. If not now, I wouldn't know when. Gotcha. I sell crits, by the way. Continuing to hit the Chosen. There's the execution. Thank you, repeaters. Thank you so much. That is great. 
Ooh. We're going to go through this run with execution after execution. And it's going to be mass repeaters. And if you say repeaters are overpowered, take a moment to think about that we have literally given up on every single PCS and every single class skill. All of the HP that come with class skills, all of uh, the um, extra weapons other than assault rifles, and for the large port, even upgraded ward sizes. Oh yeah, not to mention we've also given up on almost all of uh, the uh, almost all of uh, the um, missions from the resistance ring. So I think the point that I'm trying to make is, of course I'm going to use the most OP stuff that is available. Because else this challenge is maybe impossible. Maybe it is still impossible uh, without the OP stuff. Alright, Roby. Cleans the house. And he does a very thorough job in in that. Nine more rounds. It's interesting to see just how the losses are making this year more difficult for us, really. Because they are taking away so much of our speed and momentum that we had beforehand. Good. We're reloading. Shinrod overwatches, Divad overwatches, and Roby reloads. So we still got two overwatches. Might take a hit from one of uh, the losses, but we had equally need to move to the cell and get the guy down. Fun fact, if they fall, they take falling damage, but if they just throw themselves down, they apparently are fine. Enemy destroyed. Good, we know the cell is here. We even got somewhat of an opening, right? I'm on the move. Eh, still not fully an opening. Um... Another pack had been there. Can we somehow get upstairs? Well, we could. Oh, that's a long, long way. We can move all the way up here. I think that's what we're going to do. Roby follows. And I think we're just going to park here for now. X on the other hand moves to here. Solid cover. And next turn we can start to advance i'm trying to still retain the high ground somewhat On the move. we know there is another pretty large pack Okay, so far so good. And X, to be honest, let's just wait here. Can charge all the way to here, which is good enough. Okay, we're almost at the target. Let's scout out with X whether or not enemies are in here. Alright, 
so that's a kill like it Stun Lancer, you gotta hate to see. Uh, you got to hate to see those guys. Question is, what are we going to do about them? If we throw a grenade, he would fall down all the way. That's four points of damage plus the grenade damage. It's not a bad uh, thing. On the other hand, 10 rounds are pretty good. Might as well hit him. Do we have another grenade? Gotta deal with the... I think we gotta deal uh, with the stun lancer first. That's just a nasty enemy. Care of. Nice little execution right there. Yeah, I think that's a safer play. Shinrod moves up here and with a proximity bonus we should be fine yes mech has got to go and that's the advantage of having having this insta kill we are on top of uh, of uh, killing him we're also going to stop the Avatar project from spiraling out of control, which is great. This on the other hand now will be not so great. Alright, so we're definitely going to look for a psionic bomb. Simultaneously across multiple dimensions. Can't charge up. Do we have an auto loader here? Advanced trigger, advanced repeater, repeater. Not sure if we would be jumping right into the psionic bomb down there. Potentially we would. Good copy. Moving on target. This one's gonna be bright. Good. This is at least preventing it from uh, separating. And how about we're just moving over here? We can still fall down next turn to open to open the cage. Confirmed. Unfortunately, a lot of this will be just reloading because we lost a hell of a lot of momentum. Fifty percent, sixty percent actually. Might as well reload and take a shot. Come on. Nice. Great critical hit. Does not duplicate because it is disoriented. Instead, takes an overwatch. Which might be the last thing that it did. Nailed him. Excellent 
work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the aliens' ongoing plans. Superior autoloader. That is some nice loot right there. Alright, hacking. Well, yeah, I, I suppose if that would work out, I would take the tech reduction. Unfortunately, did not. Problem is, we're blocking the door. Very soon reinforcements will be coming in, but we are on high ground. We are reloaded and we're ready and fierce and we're not taking no for an answer. Four more turns. There are the reinforcements. Looks like they called in backup. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Okay. Okay, okay. Understood. Moving all the way over here. Fantastic. Dashing. At the same time, we're dashing out of here. And it is triple overwatch. Come on, we can kill at least one of these guys, right? Very good. They caught us pretty much red-handed here. Okay, let's double check. We can exit, we can exit, we can exit, we can exit, and we can exit. Okay, cool. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Four rookies. I've not only killed the Chosen, but also, I think, flawless that mission. Too bad we can't use the ability points. Yay! Flawless. Very good. Good. Uh, we got, I think, four promotions, none of which are going to be useful for us. But look at that. Quite a few kills across the board. We got Elsa Brown. We got a superior autoloader. And on top of that, we reduced the avatar progress by two and stopped it from progressing for an entire month. Which is great. Sonix begins to uh, be researched even faster. We got seven uh, scientists and the laboratory bonus on top of it. So potentially the equivalent of eight scientists even. Things are starting to turn a bit in our favor. But don't get fooled by that momentary kind of rush of victory. Very soon the enemies will upgrade their troops yet again and we are far far away from from the next uh, time that we can upgrade so we got 101 intel and i think we're going to i'm going to research this uh, i'm going to get that facility lead here 
it will be kind of an insurance policy for us to get to one of those facilities. All right, scratch my comment uh, about not making progress. Typically, when you destroy a facility, uh, the aliens stop their progress for six weeks, but apparently that's not the case for storyline missions. Even more important that we're going to get that facility lead here. Very good. Got a facility lead. And let's start making contact. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local regional contacts. And we have just triggered an ambush. Since we're only halfway into that mission, might as well show you how we're dealing with that ambush. And there is a chance that we're going to die horribly. But let's see. Kidoki, so what do we have here? Fantastic. They still have the normal assault rifles. and But at least the, uh, the armor upgrades. Well, let's do what we're always doing, which is taking the high ground and waiting for the first pack to drop. Which is going to be by far the biggest challenge in this in this fight. Looks like they called in Break backup. One, your team is compromised. We're picking up advent response forces inbound on your position. All right, Overwatch. And we're overwatching. If we play our cards right, we might get a kill from the Overwatch. The problem is we're already two versus threeing on this one here. And these are improved troopers. Oh, that's nasty. We are at a significant HP deficit here. Jumping in. And did I just F up my grenade spot? Apparently I did. That's only a 60% chance. So what we're going to do instead is throw a grenade. Lost so almost here. Gotta be careful with those loud explosions. Ouch. All right, we do have a problem. And I think we gotta get into full cover ish. Do we have anything here on the second floor? Fortunately, just half cover. If we move to here. one like I said we have quite a deficit in hit points already
We're cool. going for full cover. You can always get back up for high ground. At this point, reducing their hit chance is more important than hitting ourselves. I'm sorry. That did not work out as planned. Moving. Good, I have a little but nasty surprise for you. See you later down there all right he's still trying to defend his position which i appreciate he is down to two hp though some sort of line of sight onto him. Affirmative. Moving out. Currently not. Now we just got one shot. Might as well take an overwatch, wait for him to move and kill him. All right. Well, time to get rid of the loss. And we're a one-man army now. Okay. Let's try to just stay out of sight, which is likely the best idea here. through most of the building here which is typically what I'm doing when I'm sneaking away I was cocky enough to think that we would be able to just um, to just uh, kill the three but that unfortunately was not the case to get over there so let's take a solid position back here far enough away so we can't immediately get caught by all of the loss and then we're going to take a position up here far too many of them This would potentially pull another M advent, figured it. But that's okay, he sees all of the loss and can deal with them. Or not. Good. We're continuing to just leave him dealing with all of uh, these loss. Our position up here is compromised. I'm on the move. Gotta be 
careful here because yep it's very likely that we're triggering something else and luckily he decided to be a good sport and just move away good copy moving on target which gives us enough time to ignore the third one. All the while they are taking care of the loss and this is no matter how strong kind of your enemies are, that's sort of how it works every single time. Good, we're moving out, and that will give us uh, the nice little evacuation. Lost one operative, saved one operative, not the worst, not the best. Okay, so sometimes someone dies on these missions, and this, guy, uh, and this time it was Hungry Shadow. Sorry, my man, didn't make it. The sacrifices will be remembered, as they say. Reduce contact cost. Nope, we don't need that now. Well, that is fantastic. Oh, wait, it's uh, it's just the covert. It is just uh, the resistance order. Hmm. My people are up for some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. That is suboptimal. I was hoping we could get something else because I don't want to waste the resistance order slot for that. Will plus five. I mean we get something uh, the sniper rifles are not helpful but it takes I, I suppose it takes away that breakthrough from all of the breakthroughs so makes it more likely that you will get other breakthroughs right so let's put her into the mission again and it's okay if she's getting wounded Good. Out of curiosity, our wall, memorial wall. Damn it! Oh boy. That's pretty. That's pretty nasty overall. Two, four, six, seven. I think I haven't had that many uh, kills since a very 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 long time this turns out to be more of a meat grinder campaign that uh, then uh, the choose to lose campaign which i originally thought it would be a meat grinder campaign mm. engineer would be great uh, but this here is sealed armor and i don't want the sealed armor to go through which means in return the armor plating will go through because we have already pushed that out once so it's going to happen but this here would be even worse some of the ammunition might be what we're going to use so yeah we can't let that happen i will need to do this recover an item from a train where 200 supplies isn't the worst and look at that we just finish ex uh, finish the excavation here which means we're going right back to work for some more excavation ammunition yes and yes and yes i think um, there was uh, the error of no i think it worked yeah we got the second ammunition okay well that's not bad that's not bad okay cool that's pretty much the end of this episode i think we will need to go um, and do the uh, do the covert ops mission next or the resistance um, ops mission next and that will happen in the next episode anyways uh, this was a longer one thank you for watching guys and uh, see you soon
Bye-bye.